couple years ago, we got 100 chicks, put them in this stall, and... Absolute massacre. Little holes in the side of these chicks. Not one alive. Some shoved in the corner over there. Some shoved in the corner over there. There's a big hole right there underneath the wall. The boys said they saw a rat. You came out here and there was a rat in there? And so, we built this bulletproof brooder. And that was a couple of years ago. And I consulted with Joel Salatin, my mentor, and he basically instructed me on how to build a bulletproof brooder. And we have. This is it. That was a couple of years ago, and it's paying its dividends now. Fully confident getting these chicks and turkeys. Enjoy that process. Oh. It's the chicks. Hello. You already yes. know your baby chickens then, right? Is it just one package or there's two? Actually, there's uh, two of them. Okay. Is it two different Yeah, you can come by and take them up anytime. Is it two different tracking numbers? Oh, uh, it sure is, yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect, thanks. Why does it matter if it's two different tracking numbers? Well, because we had two different tracking numbers. Okay, and so. One was saying that it was gonna arrive later today. Okay. And I was just wanting to okay. try to minimize going twice. Hey. It's Gideon that's sick. Not everybody else. Oh, you're sick. You're feeling a little sickly too. But Johnny, you gotta get on dishes. How you feeling? Any better? Smoke alarm going off. What's going on, beefcake? No fire here. The horse is here. We're logging the land with horses. Oh no, they're turkeys. All right, Lily's in the back with them. Are they all right? Yeah. Chicks, turkeys. They want warmth more than they want anything else. So we got that going. They haven't eaten. They're just living off the mama's egg. Let's see if somebody will find it. They're packing. They're not going for it. Maybe this guy will do it. We need to get the water out of the chicken tractor. We're gonna put this big water in the chicken tractor, grab the little water out of it. There you go. I wasn't gonna get them out yet. I was gonna make sure the, brute, the, the heat lamp's working. Oh, Gimp and Gimpy are in here. You got Gimpy and Gimpy are. I wonder who's the gimpiest. We should get a heat vent in here, Papa. Just have a vent run up to over here. Hmm, showing them the water. How many times have you done this? 
see. Since we got back from the Great American Farm Tour. Yeah, so you did five it before years. That too. Yeah. Five or six years. In other words, you don't know. Can't yeah. count. Here, let's put that out here. One's dead? Yeah. One or two dead? This one? Pretty good. I always expect to shut this door and not hear anything. Because, but then there's this man rush right there. Our bulletproof, rat proof, skunk proof, mouse proof, mouse proof, snake proof, brooder. It's basically a cage fight in there. Yeah, half inch wire mesh there. everywhere, tin around the sides, framed mesh. roof with half inch wire mesh. There's mesh under the tin all the way around. Yep. There's mesh goes up the side of the wall. It's up high for to accommodate the deep bedding. It's about 18 inches up high. You step over into this one, the deep bedding's lower. You probably only have to switch it out maybe every two years. Add a little bedding in each time. The microbial life in the bedding is a heat but it's also a sanitizer. They will not make it if they don't eat that turkey feed. We're gonna figure you out. So you finish in here. Okay. See the chicks? <laughs> He's hanging on. I won't drop you. I won't put you in there. Oh. We bought this food local. We didn't have our new country in. I'm, I'm concerned because I've done this food before and I haven't seen chicks really like it. And I don't see them really clamoring to get it. Two hours later, Jonas got them some grit. That's good. That's important. It does look like they've gotten in there. That's good. Good for you guys. Evening time. Rebecca was able to pick up some new country organic feed while in town. That's tried and true around here so we're gonna put it out to our chicks obviously it's very important that chicks get a good start or they're gonna suffer the rest of their lives oh look caught, i caught a turkey eating a turkey feed that's very good because you cannot get any other turkey feed local than that they're eating the chick starter feed too i've done a split test where i put this feed and then new country organic feed in together and they eat new country organic twice as much See how light colored that is? See how dark colored that is? There you go, guys. Looks like their brooder must be working. Crowding around it. I do have a light on the turkeys. A little more fragile in the beginning. Gotta keep the water super clean. We're good. Lily, did they make it? I haven't looked under the thing yet. When I came out, they were scattered around like everywhere, but they all mm. ran under the thing when I came in the pump. Yeah, check under it real quick. Everybody's alive. Ooh, I opened that door. We get some warmth. Barely touched that. Now they are a day old. Probably they're more than a day old. Oh yeah, I guess they are three or four days old. I feel like they maybe should have eaten a little bit more. What am I gonna do? Look at this one. It's so cute. You like the gray one? Yeah. There aren't, there's only one gray one. Maybe a third more chickens, and we have the, oh, the tried and true feed. And it's about, I don't know, they have a lot of it left too, so. That's encouraging. That just means people aren't eating a lot yet. You know, I guess it's only problem. <laughs> and I wish I would have, I don't know, if it weren't for the injury and the remodel and everything and the, EIEIO farm we got going on. We might have cleaned this up a little bit before we filmed. It collects cobwebs, doesn't it? Well, the other problem is like, this is a UFC cage fight right here. This is a cage fight for chicks, okay? Who's gonna build a framed box in their stock? Well, many of you, if you grow 100, 200 chicks a year for meat, plus maybe 30 layer chicks a year for leg laying and then 15 turkeys then then yeah this is worth it so what if though you're on the home scale i've i've put chicks inside 12 to 24 chicks it's not bad they are in our dining room so that way we can keep track of them well let's talk about this first thing this is the brooder i like to call it the porta brooder this is the big box that you contain them in. I contain them in. I use a Rubbermaid. This is a 40 gallon. It's probably two foot by four feet. And remember, you can put four chicks per square foot up to three weeks. 
So do that math, it's uh, eight, eight uh, square feet in here. So that'll be about 32 chicks till they're about three weeks old till they transition outside. But many of you are, you know, beyond that inside point. You don't want chickens inside or whatever. Uh, or you have more than 24, you had two different batches. So what if I've gotten with Chris Slattery of Polyface Designs and we've partnered and we're going to build one of these, but smaller, like, I don't know, like this. And something that you could just put in your garage. You don't, we built this custom in this stall. You guys wanna see something satisfying? Sweeping off cobwebs. Anyway, we're gonna make this bulletproof brooder accessible to all. How about chickens for everyone? Oh wow, this is bad. Oh. We'll be kickstarting my new book, Homestead Builds, June 1st, book one, and it will include that brooder, Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. We got a waiting list, and there's free bonuses just for getting on that list. Check it out at homesteadbuilds.com.